showing today the uh, Lewitt LCT 640 five pattern large diaphragm microphone. Amongst the various proprietary features on this product is the auto attenuation circuit. Auto attenuation uh, is engageable or selectable by holding down the leftmost button. The light turns red telling you that it's ready to attenuate itself should the need arise. Right now we're set at zero dB. If I hit it hard, you'll notice it wasn't hard enough. Start flashing to indicate that there was a clipping event, and in order to circumvent that, it actually attenuated itself 6 dB. Had I hit it even harder and requiring a larger attenuation, it would have stepped down to either minus 12 or minus 18 dB um, and uh, essentially regulated the input so as to make sure it doesn't overload the console. Fairly usable feature, especially when you're you know behind in your session and you want to get a sax player up there and he steps up to the mic and he bellows and bangs. The microphone basically takes care of it. If you press this button over here, you'll see that it will actually give you the history of that clipping circuit and tell you that it was set at, my, at zero dB. It needed to attenuate itself to minus six, and it took care of it. And thank you very much. And we can now defeat that circuit, close it. And once you set all your settings, oh, by the way, the microphone remembers where you last left it, so if you unplug it and it loses its phantom power supply, it will remember exactly where it was, which is a pretty cool feature and somewhat unique to Lubit microphones. Uh, assuming you don't want someone mucking around with your microphones all day, once you find all your settings, hit the center button, turns it off, now you can forget about it, and we're, we're done. Very cool. Lewis, Thanks LCD very much.